da ejecución de tareas, coordinación de clientes, proveedores, manejos de llamadas, mensajes y correos, coordinación logística y de viaje, así como cualquier actividad que apoye al pequeño o mediano empresario a enfocarse en su negocio. Toda una fracción del costo de un asistente de tiempo completo y con disponibilidad durante sus horas de oficina. Llámenos al 281-944-9116 y permítanos ser parte de su éxito. Mediodía del martes 13 de abril, qué gusto, bienvenidos. Eh, pues estamos iniciando este esfuerzo de comunicación de Audiorama y el Heraldo Radio. Gracias por estar con nosotros. Miguel Aquino, buenas tardes. Un día con información muy importante, como siempre, pero me parece que el tema de la vacuna verdaderamente va a ser un antes y un después en la industria de las vacunas en México, Miguel Aquino. ¿Qué tal, Anita? ¿Cómo estás, amigos? Me da mucho gusto saludarlos. Muy, muy buenas tardes. Saludos para todos nuestros amigos a lo largo y ancho del país. Sabemos que también nos escuchan más allá de nuestras fronteras. Sí, sin duda, eh, lo que se dijo hoy en la conferencia mañanera relacionada con las vacunas, hay dos temas interesantes. El primero, bueno, pues lo que anuncia el secretario de Relaciones Exteriores, estos más de 6 millones, 6 millones de vacunas que prácticamente están ya por llegar. Esperemos que sea, esperemos que sea así. También pues este asunto eh, de la vacuna de Johnson y Johnson, la vacuna que tanta expectativa había generado Anita en relación a que era de una sola toma y que... This week's show of BNI Now, a show that's basically dedicated to everything related to BNI. Uh, BNI, for those of you that don't know, the largest business networking group in the world. We're talking about presence in over 70 countries, over 200, let's see how many we got, over 275,000 members as of right now. Um, here in Houston, just to give you a bit of a more local feel, uh, we have over 52 chapters, I think 54 now, and over 1,200 members all mainly entrepreneurs, uh, small businesses, salespeople for large businesses. And what are we there for? We're here to basically improve each other's business, see how we can use referral marketing to the advantage of all of our members so that we can all win together. A um, couple interesting things. We've got some, some news hot off the press right here. There's a brand new press release from uh, the production company that actually produces this show for us. That's now Media Television. Uh, we've been doing this show, I want, I want to say, for, gosh, it's been, I think, eight, my, eight nine months now, um, almost coming up on a year, and they've been ex extremely gracious. You know, we started off as a uh, web-only service. Uh, now they have a couple of chapters, a couple of actually open-air channels, so we are on live TV um, here in Houston, 21.10 KVQT, and also in Beaumont, 27.10 And the interesting thing is that they have now expanded uh, across state lines. So uh, congratulations to Now Media. We're now live. Uh, as of next Monday, we're also going to be going live in Atlanta, Georgia, Channel 22, and also in Earville, Chicago, uh, Channel uh, 102.9. So growing, you know, we're also available on Roku TV, Amazon Prime, Apple TV. Um, if you're using us through any of those, uh, any of those methods, can, you know, welcome. Um, so on to the show. So uh, what are we here for? We're here, we have a special show today, first of all. We have a lot of representatives in the insurance space. The insurance industry is obviously a large, uh, multi-billion dollar industry, one of the most important industries in the United States. Um, so we thought it'd be interesting to have a show specifically related to insurance. So we have somebody that's going to be representing the health insurance side. We have somebody else that's going to be talking about personal insurance. 
And we also have somebody that's going to be talking about life insurance. So it's a very, very interesting show. And B and I, we call that basically a, a power group, power team, power circle. These are professionals and businesses that can work together. Uh, so you might not have a, you might have an agency that doesn't do health insurance. So they could certainly provide a lot of different leads for the health insurance person. And vice versa, the health insurance person probably doesn't do auto insurance, and so they have somebody that they can send their business to. And that's what it's all about, optimizing business opportunities uh, for all of our members so that we can all grow together. So let's, uh, without any further ado, I'm going to welcome our first member. His name is Lance Bryden. Hopefully I got that right, it's Bryden. Breeden. Breeden. Yes, okay. sir. <laughs> so Lance Breeden, uh, he represents U.S. Health Advisors. We were just talking a minute ago how U.S. Health Advisors as a company is very, very, very pro BNI. There are a lot of different uh, U.S. Health Advisor reps uh, within the different BNI chapters, particularly here in Houston. Um, and so, welcome, to Lance. How's everything going today? It's going great. Going great. Uh, been busy with open enrollment. So well, now open enrollment is pretty much. Uh, been expanded significantly re because of what's been going on, of yeah. course. Mm -hmm. So I guess let's just jump right into it. So what is it that has changed uh, open enrollment recently, and why is it that we're able to continue to do that right now versus, you know, in the past I think it was limited to, you know, I think a month or a month. Yeah, ago. yeah, November, December is what it usually has been. And uh, President Biden has come in, and he's extended it all the way to August. Okay. Um, so uh, it just gives people opportunities, uh, I guess, uh, to kind of streamline and, and find the coverage that works best for them. Uh, when you have open enrollment, you, you scramble around trying to find a health insurance plan uh, for your family. Um, and once you get on it and use it, you may find out that you don't want that plan and, and you're kind of stuck for the whole year. Okay. until open enrollment comes around. So um, I think it has some good things that, uh, you know, uh, for being open enrollment extended. Uh, I'm not really sure um, uh, how it benefits uh, or takes away from, from health insurance, uh, just that people are looking. Uh, okay, so that's a positive thing, right? It, so you, it, it, so is, you... it is a positive thing. Um, you just got to... Uh, uh, fit people with the right coverage for their needs. Okay. And uh, once you satisfy that, um, then, you know, you have longevity of your, your clients, basically. Um, so does, does open enrollment really apply specifically? So I know you represent U.S. Health Advisors. As I understand it, and correct me if, if, if I'm wrong, um, U.S. Health Advisors is a private company, right? Um, and uh, for U.S. Health Advisors, you can enroll somebody uh, in a health insurance plan pretty much year long? Well, that's the private industry. Okay. Um, private health insurance is not limited um, to um, the guidelines that the ACA marketplace is limited to. ACA, Obamacare, right. American... Um, right. There's an American... What does the C stand for? American Care Act? Uh, uh, the Affordable, uh, Care, Affordable Act. Care Act. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Yes. And so um, being, being private, uh, you know, we are able to do business all year round. Okay. So, and that's yes. a huge plus. It is. Mm -hmm. um, so, what's, so tell us a little bit about what differentiates uh, going through you as a, as, an insur as a health insurance specialist, going through U.S. Health Advisors, which is the, you know, the company that you, that you represent, versus you know, doing something through the ACA or you know, through another brokerage. Um, just that we have access to private plans. Um, the ACA marketplace does not. And I can help anybody um, look for anything, um, you know, um, whether it's private health insurance because that fits a certain niche or whether it's an ACA plan. I can help people look for, oh, either way. for, for the best thing for them. Uh, you know, not every uh, shoe fits every foot. And so depending on the financial needs or the health conditions and health needs, uh, it will depend on what kind of plan uh, that is the, the right plan for you. And I just help people walk through it. It is an incredible maze, a lot of confusion, a lot of people yep. pulling their hair out, not knowing what to do and how to do it. And that's something that, that we can um, uh, help clients with. Well, uh, deductibles. I remember in my particular case, I know deductibles have changed. Like uh, it's been night and day over mm -hmm. the last really – sort of 15, maybe 10, 15 years, the deductibles now just seem to have gone up and up and up and up. Um, 
and you can create somebody that's you, you can do plans that are also specific to that right about the deductibles and yes. co-pays and mm -hmm. there's a lot of different plans um, there are a lot of different deductibles and depending on the client's needs and uh, their situation um, you can you know some private plans are customizable um, and so uh, it just you know it just depends on what the needs is what we do is we just sit down with the client and we go over what what do you need what you know even what is your finances look like what can you afford uh, what's the mark that you need to be within the network um, also the doctors maybe mm -hmm. they've got a doctor that they want to continue to see a family yes. doctor that's been doing their uh, you know taking care of them yeah. for years and years and They're that's everything the same network that's all the information that we gather up when we sit and talk to people um, when I sit and talk with somebody I want to know what doctors do you see what doctors do you want to keep what are places that you want to go if something happens to you? Right. Um, and just find out as much information as I can because that's, that way I can go and find uh, plans and just show them the options of uh, what's available to them. Now, I know that uh, about a, you know, a little over a while back, they took out the uh, penalty, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, at some point you were required to have insurance. If not, they would assess a penalty. Um, now that penalty is no longer there, although you are supposed to have insurance nonetheless. Um, now we have a change in administration fairly recently. Um, do you foresee any kind of additional changes going on with basically what is the ACA framework and health insurance? Oh, in there the is there is no telling. <laughs> yes, I'm sure it'll be changing. Um, but we did, uh, our company, we did very well um, before the mandate uh, penalty was was zeroed out and okay. uh, we continue to do well. And so um, I don't look at it as much as a, as a barrier as, as people think it is. Okay. Um, so. And what about, um, on the other hand also, so why do, why do you think you did better uh, even though they took away that mandate? Because you would think, you know, you would think logically that it would be the opposite, right? If people are forced to do it, then who you should have, you should have more business. Well, you know, if the private side plans uh, fits people's needs better, then it fits yeah, people's needs better, yeah. you I know. Agree. And so, um, yeah, uh, and a lot of lot of plans uh, were, you know, pretty competitive in cost. And so, even with paying a penalty, um, a lot of people feel that it's worth uh, the extra headache, uh, okay. if you will. And and with the cost difference on some plans, um, there's even room to, you know to move to wiggle basically okay and what about the what's happened over the last year obviously you know march last year we we started to see the initial effects of the pandemic you know shutdowns um obviously everybody very concerned with their health and you know the, the guidelines that we've all had to live with for the last uh, year plus um how has that affected the whole industry um a lot more interest in health insurance <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden right uh, so you know we've had a lot of more people evaluating the plans that they do have um, wanting to see um, you know what what is a better option for them it's like you don't get insurance uh, for your car uh, you know to replace right. your tires or your battery you get That's it for the big accidents right and so you know with the pandemic people are thinking long term they're thinking down the road they're thinking the big what-ifs and so they're really shopping, looking for the better coverage and what's better gonna protect my family, uh, pandemic or not even. And so uh, I think a lot of people are just eyeballing their current coverage right now, looking for better options. Well, not just that, there's also the cost, right? I mean, the yes. reality is, is that the healthcare system in the United States is probably the most expensive one in the world or among the most expensive ones in the world. Uh, you know, I mean, the from somewhere I believe I've read multiple times that one of the main reasons for bankruptcy for U.S. families in many cases are medical emergencies mm -hmm. where they don't have the proper insurance or they just don't have anything in place to try to mitigate those those expenses. Mm -hmm. um, have you seen anything change as far as the costs in the medical field? you know, over the last couple of years? Well, you know, the costs keep going up. And so that in turn is why health insurance keeps going up. I mean, health insurance is an investment. Uh, you have to look at it as an investment because uh, the costs just keep going up. Um, and so people want the bang for the buck. And, you know, if you can provide a plan that'll give them a bang for the buck, then, then that's what they're looking for as well. Yeah. Um, let's talk a little bit about your chapter. We have a couple of minutes left, so I, I don't want to, I want to, 
uh, do you give a shout out to BNI Katie? Uh, you're a BNI Katie member. How long I have am. you been a member there? Uh, almost three years. Okay. And yeah. what's been your experience in, in BNI in general? Oh, I just, you know, the um, the friendships that you develop are, are just amazing. Um, and you learn that BNI does a good job of vetting. Uh, companies, you know, if you get somebody in your BNI chapter that's just not working out well, they tend to kind of fall out. And so, the people that stay in the chapter um, are the cream of the crop. And so, they're definitely um, most people. You just, without a doubt, uh, feel completely confident in uh, referring business to them, um, because you know when you refer to somebody to a business it's it's like your reputation's on the sure. line as well absolutely so yes. you're putting your name out there and you're yes. giving somebody a stamp of approval which is part of the reason why it works why it's so effective as yes. well um so three years obviously you're a big believer in bni I am. um if it weren't worth it you wouldn't be renewing every That's year right. right so tell me i mean give me the most interesting referral you've you've received uh, we don't have that much time but you know give me a little tidbit here on a, on an interesting uh, referral that you've gotten maybe over the last year or so um interesting referral is um i had a uh a pnc agent refer um some clients that they already had their their his in-laws were coming in from russia okay and they needed health insurance and so working through you know, making sure that they have their proper documentation uh, as far as, um, you know, green cards and things like that, making sure that's in place. And also the issue of not having a medical history in the U.S. and having to work through that. Um, so that was pretty challenging. Um, I was able to sign policies on them, um, but uh, it took a lot of footwork. And uh, it was rewarding to be able to uh, make sure that they're covered. Absolutely. Take care and of plus them. Plus helping, you know. Uh, yeah. People that are coming into the system new that don't really know what it's all about. Right. Yeah. And, and being an extension of uh, my referral partner's business, you know, he's taking care of his clients because he referred them to me and I was able to take care of them. So in a sense, he's the one that took care of them. That's fantastic. Yes. And then um, also don't want to don't want you to go here without telling people how they can reach you. So if you're looking for health insurance, where should they call? Uh, my cell phone is always on me. Okay. <laughs> and although people don't like to give their cell phone number out, that's uh, that's the best way to get a hold of me. Um, and it's 361-443-9589. And, uh, you know, if I don't answer the phone, I, I do call back. So fantastic. Best well, way to reach me. We really we really appreciate it, Lance. All the best to you, uh, Thank you. this coming week. Hopefully, if like I said, somebody's watching health insurance. We all need it. Uh, give Lance a call. He'll take good care of you. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again in the BNI world, okay? Thank you very right. much. Bye bye. We'll, we'll be back uh, in just a minute with uh, somebody else, a whole different type of insurance. So stick with us. COVID-19 transformed the way we do business. Now more than ever, fast lead generation and customer retention will determine if a business survives or not. The Now Media Video Business Card is designed to be sent using your smartphone. It's the next generation business card that will open the door for you while keeping social distancing. The Now Media Video Business Card is affordable for anyone from startups to multinational companies and is already being used by hundreds of businesses. Stay open, stay in business. Call us today. Having a spotless house is critical for your quality of living. Hi, this is Kevin Thury with WashPros.us. At WashPros, we are locally owned and operated, servicing Central Houston, Austin, and Dallas. We are fully insured. We offer annual, semi-annual, and quarterly cleanings. We recognize that needs change and Mother Nature keeps us on our toes. Just know we are happy to help. We use eco-friendly products and a purified water cleaning system for a spotless shine. We service HOAs, the property managers, investment firms, and you, the homeowner. If you're putting your house on the market or have an annual maintenance cleaning schedule or you're interested in holiday lighting, we are your one-stop shop for all of your exterior cleaning and holiday lighting needs. Call me today for your free on-site quote and let washpros.us be your clean escape. COVID
COVID-19 transformed the way we do business. Now more than ever, fast lead generation and customer retention will determine if a business survives or not. The Now Media Video Business Card is designed to be sent using your smartphone. It's the next generation business card that will open the door for you while keeping social distancing. The Now Media Video Business Card is affordable for anyone from startups to multinational companies and is already being used by hundreds of businesses. Stay open, stay in business. Call us today. All right, welcome back. Uh, we're here live in the uh, Now Media TV studios. This is uh, BNI Now. Uh, we have another BNI member with us. Uh, we're pleased to have with us Donnie Watson. Hey, Donnie, how are you? I'm doing good. It's great to be here. All right, it's great to have you here. Donnie is uh, also within the insurance industry. Like as a, as I said, you know, most of our most of our guests today are are insurance related. Uh, so it's sort of a you know smorgasbord of of insurance. Um, Topics. Uh, this one very near and dear to my heart, to be honest with you, one of my favorites or types or industries within the insurance uh, industry, and that's life insurance. Okay, um, life insurance very different than everybody, everything else, and a lot of kind, a lot of times, um, life insurance tends to sometimes, frankly, get lost within all the different types of insurance that you need. Obviously, you know, you're, you, ha you have a car by law, you have to have auto insurance. You have a mortgage, you have to have your homeowner's insurance. Um, you have a family or you, you know, you want to maintain a good level of health, then you have to have your health insurance. So, uh, life insurance is in a way, a, a very unique, uh, type of insurance in my opinion. Um, and of course, completely, uh, voluntary, but completely necessary. People need to have life insurance. Um, so Donnie, first of all, tell us why you chose to go into that particular branch of insurance. Okay. Why is it near and dear to your heart and why does it, uh, you know, I assume you're passionate about it. This is what you do every day. Um, so tell us a little bit of how you got into it. Okay. So um, life insurance has always been near and dear to my heart just because, as you stated, as a one line of insurance, it always typically tends to get swept under the rug or just forgotten about. It's not right. something that is um, forced. It's not something that um, we're made to do, but it's definitely one of the most important uh, for obvious reasons that allows you to be able to protect your family. So uh, unfortunately, in certain communities, life insurance is also something that is not uh, taken advantage of in the fashion that it could and should be. Okay. And so I delve into it for the sake of educating uh, uh, communities and helping them to appreciate that, for one, it's not as expensive as they think it is, and for two, here are the benefits and the reasons why it's so beneficial. Well, talk about it. So the expense of it, right? So let's talk a little bit about sort of the ideal client. When is the ideal time that you want to talk to somebody about life insurance? When they're, you know, 60, when they're 20, when they're 30, what, what would be a good time for somebody to seriously start to consider and say, listen, I want to take advantage of this time because this is an ideal moment for me to, to get involved and, and start thinking about what kind of a plan I want long term for life insurance. Well, for me personally, my goal is to have that conversation with anybody immediately. I okay. don't want to set a specific age limit to that. But I will say, based off of what it is you're looking to accomplish, uh, then that, that has a bearing on the age. So when you think about being in your younger 20s or maybe uh, in your early 30s where you're just starting to build a family, then it's really good to get into to permanent policies and, and products that are on the market that will help you to uh, save up for a nest egg. It would also help you to build for retirement and also help you to save money for college for your children and even a rainy day that you and the missus may, uh, may need those funds. So that's always huge. But then when you think about, uh, you know, our, our more seasoned and older individuals, then for them it's just more or less wanting to make sure their legacy is in place for their families and make sure, of course, their arrangements are taken care of. And so it really just depends on what the need is. But the great thing about life insurance is there's something for everybody to take advantage of. So you mentioned permanent policy. Mm -hmm. So can you can you educate us about the difference between permanent versus non-permanent? What's okay. the difference? So the difference is it's either going to be considered a term policy or it's going to be considered a permanent policy. Uh, term policies typically um, will cover you for about 10 years. You can usually do 15 years, a 20 year policy. A okay, so it basically year. has a start date and it has an end date. Correct, correct. Okay. 
And so uh, it's something that is really good. I'll give you an example. If a young couple buys a home and that home loan is for 30 years, then the breadwinner may do a term policy for 30 years to make sure if anything happens to him during that time frame, his wife doesn't have that pressure of trying to figure out how she's going to pay for the home. She can pay off the house, there pay off go. the mortgage, and right. that's one less bill that she has to worry about right. because, of course, you no longer have that income coming in, right? Definitely. Definitely. Um, and then the permanents are basically what that means, right? They, they, they go on forever. Right. For the duration of your life, uh, typically it will mature at, at 100 years old. Sometimes, uh, you know, we may do 120, but obviously... A hundred years typically covers. Well, it. we had uh, what today, Prince Philip, right? Just yeah. just passed ninety nine uh, years old. So yeah. Yeah. Um, he's not going to have a problem with the life <laughs> insurance policy, but he was close. Um, what else? There's also what about when you talk to somebody and they tell you, well, you know, I get my life insurance through work. Mm -hmm. You know, I, it's already paid for. I don't even have to worry about that. Right. So that's a good thing. I mean, it's commendable to take advantage of those type of policies because. Uh, usually those are discounted rates that you're able to get because you're getting them through the company. Okay. However, uh, the fact of the matter is we, we always have to be prepared for what could happen. Uh, that's the, the, the purpose of insurance anyway. We're, we're preparing for what may happen. Right. And so uh, it's always a good idea to have a supplemental life policy outside of your employer. Uh, for obvious reasons, you may leave the employer. Right. The employer could have a mass layoff. However, you want to make sure you still have something in place that is going to cover you and benefit your family in the event that that happens. So if you had somebody working for a big company, let's say you work in the oil and gas industry, mm -hmm. you know, they had their policy through oil and gas, they got laid off. And let's say, you know, when they started, they were, you know, let's say they were 15 year um, employees. Mm -hmm. So what's the drawback? I mean, when they get out, they lose their policy, right? Exactly. And exactly. then they have to find one. 15 years later, they're 15 years older. Exactly. Which means that now it's a lot more expensive for them to be insured. Right. Okay, so it's a good idea for you to have your own policy as well other than the one that you have through through the work? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, what about the situation that we've been dealing with? Of course, things you know seem to be improving. You know, We have mm -hmm. the vaccinations now happening, rolling across the United States. Uh, you know, the economy is, is seeming to get uh, you know a little bit back on track. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, COVID is health related. Uh, you know, it's caused a lot of deaths in the United States, over half a million. Um, how has the insurance, uh, life insurance industry sort of reacted to everything related to COVID? Do we now have special things and policies? Are they companies making differences or, or going through different underwriting um, procedures now versus what they used to in the past? The biggest uh, change or shift that I've noticed is the fact that some companies are um, considering that more in the underwriting process. If an individual uh, was diagnosed with COVID, then that's something that they uh, obviously view as a higher risk. And so they, they, may not, they may decline that individual due to that. They just may want to see a time frame of them being healthy and moving beyond it uh, to make sure it's not something that comes back and affects their, their health. Right. So obviously... The, the important time to get life insurance is before you get sick. Definitely before, before something you, happens to you. Definitely. Once you once you go through COVID or once you're diagnosed with some sort of an ailment, that makes it that much more difficult for you to be able to get a, even if I mean you might not even qualify for a policy. It's in some cases, right? Right. Right. Um, so Watson Insurance Agency. This is uh, obviously in your name. I'm mm -hmm. assuming you're the you're the primary on Watson Insurance Agency. I am. So. Uh, are we talking about, do you represent a particular company? Do you have several different companies that you can you can go through? So uh, I, I have multiple brands that I work with. Uh, one of the biggest brokers that I'm associated with is WFG, World Financial Group. Okay. And uh, with WFG, we have um, a plethora of companies that we're associated with. Everybody from Mass Mutual, New York Life, Prudential, Gerber. And so uh, the benefit of having so many uh, companies in my arsenal is I'm able to really tailor uh, policies based off of what a person or family's needs are. So there are big differences between these different companies and what Definitely. they actually do. So what they have, do they have specific types of policies that they prefer to do versus others? Or are you particular to a type of client? Mm -hmm. How does that, how does that work? So um, uh, 
as an example, Gerber uh, focuses on older individuals who find okay. themselves maybe in their 70s or 80s, and for whatever reason, uh, were not able to maintain a life insurance policy. And so that's a company that they're able to get insured and get covered, and um, they don't have to deal with uh, the headache of having to go through a medical exam. Okay. It's a- automatic approval. Oh, wow. Yeah. So automatic, so no no medical underwriting. Right, okay. right, right, right. And that's what I final expense policy. Exactly. Can you can you explain a little bit about what those policies are for? And so a final expense policy is is basically um, a permanent policy that is designed for uh, older individuals. Uh, it keeps them from having to um, deal with the stress of being declined at such a later time in their life. And so just the comfort of knowing that they can get life insurance and uh, not have to worry about any pre-existing conditions. That's great. I didn't even know that, you know, I didn't really know that that was, uh, that was available, especially when you're towards, you know, when you're much, much older. Um, What about uses for life insurance? So you mentioned that depending on what use you want to give it. So obviously, you know, we talked about, you know, maybe paying off the mortgage, you know, Mm -hmm. maybe probably uh, so that your spouse can, you know, continue to have that income, you know, that you're not going to be able to provide for a certain period of time. So the permanent policies, do those have other uses other than the immediate, you know, loss of income or, you know, additional bills that you have? Mm-hmm. Um, what, what could you use the permanent policies for other than those types of things? So you also have uh, policies. One product that is very beneficial is known as the Index Universal Life Policy. Okay. And with this policy, not only do you have a uh, life insurance policy, but you also have a savings account, so to speak, attached to it. And so what happens is as you make payments on this policy on a monthly basis, you're growing interest annually okay. that creates a savings account for you. And these are really great policies. As an example, if you're trying to make sure that you have funds set aside for your children to go to college. Okay. Uh, maybe Retirement? Right, okay. right. Maybe your son is good enough and he'll get a scholarship. Uh, maybe not. I maybe so. not. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> and it, and, so and if he's not, you still prepared for him to be able to take advantage of that opportunity. And why would you do it through a life insurance policy and not through like a savings account at the bank? You would do it through a life insurance policy because the bank is not going to give you anywhere near the percentage. Um, okay. I, I think right now, if you go through the bank, it's about a half. Point zero zero right, zero right, right. two. Whereas like in life insurance, the average is 3.75% of interest. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a big, that's, that's a huge, huge problem. And what about taxes on those types of policies? Is there any kind of situation where, you know, so you're, you've got this account, mm-hmm. you know, does, is there a tax implication there? So the great thing about it, of course, is a, it's a tax shelter, you know, so it's like once you're making uh, payments on that monthly premium, your taxes are included. So whether you pass and your family is receiving the death benefit or whether you t- you're taking those funds out, you're not going to be taxed at that time. Imagine that. It's, you know, really, in this country, that's practically uh, impossible otherwise. So another great use for life Definitely. insurance policy. Definitely. Um, so you're also a member of BNI, Katie, right? I am. How long have you been a member there? Um, I think it's been official for about two months, three months. Oh, okay. So you're still so a, BNI, a newbie. You're a BNI newbie. I am. And so what's been your impression so far of, uh, you know, sort of the, B, the whole BNI infrastructure mm-hmm. and your chapter in particular? I love the diversity of the group, first and foremost. I think uh, in the world of doing business and being an entrepreneur, you definitely have to understand uh, different people. You you have to understand uh, different groups and how business is conducted and and how you can serve them. And so having so many different members from from different uh, backgrounds, um, that's huge. That's huge with the system. How many members in your group, in your chapter? Right now, 17. We're still in the baby baby stages. That's all right. 17 is a good start. Yeah. Um, last thing, of course, if somebody here is interested in talking Mm -hmm. to you, maybe they have some referrals to give you, maybe, maybe somebody right now looking and saying, you know what, I haven't taken care of, taken care of my life insurance. And of course, with everything that's going on, it's now a priority. Mm -hmm. Um, how do they get around to, to get in touch with you? Well, they can reach me directly at, um, uh, the office landline, of course. So 713-244-6186. And that'll, that'll get them in touch with me uh, Monday through Saturday. 
Also, we have www.thewatsoninsurance.com is the website. Okay. From that website, there's an email attached as well, so they can feel free to reach out. Uh, of course, I'm on Facebook, the Donnie Watson Insurance Agency, and also on Instagram, uh, the Donnie Watson Agency as well. That's awesome. Well, thanks for coming in, Donnie. We appreciate your time. And, Thank you for uh, having me. Wish you the best in, in everything to come, okay? All right. We'll be right back with our next guest. Uh, don't, don't go away. COVID-19 transformed the way we do business. Now more than ever, fast lead generation and customer retention will determine if a business survives or not. The Now Media Video Business Card is designed to be sent using your smartphone. It's the next generation business card that will open the door for you while keeping social distancing. The Now Media Video Business Card is affordable for anyone from startups to multinational companies and is already being used by hundreds of businesses. Stay open, stay in business. Call us today. What is so special about sleeping? It boosts your mental health. It's critical for your immune system, weight management, and fertility, amongst other important aspects of your health. Most people do not know the average person spends a third of their life on a mattress. A hard reality is some people spend roughly seven years of their lives tossing and turning because their mattress needs replacing, or it's just a low quality mattress which in turn leads to multiple spine issues and other health problems. Hi, I'm John McCarty with Mattress Firm. Having the exact mattress for you is critical for your overall well-being, and my goal is to help you find the exact mattress that'll increase your quality of life and your loved ones and have a restful night's sleep. Call me at 832-815-8482. I'd love to help. All right, so we're back. Actually, I got caught <laughs> off guard. I can imagine that. Um, so my next guest, as we know, we're having an insurance uh, explosion here on the on the show today. Um, another person also, uh, Caitlin Pruitt, also from the Katie, although Katie Business Elite is the name of the chapter. Uh, Caitlin has a, a Goosehead Insurance Agency. So welcome, yes. welcome on the show. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. I'm excited to be here. Uh, we're excited to have you. So insurance obviously being a, a, a big part of everybody's situation right. right now, more than ever with the health and the life and everything else. What type of insurance do you specialize in? So I uh, hold the property and casualty chair in my b &I group, which is in layman's terms. <laughs> we're talking light, um, sorry, life. Now it's Donnie. Um, home, <laughs> auto, umbrella, flood. I can do renter's policy, motorcycle, trailers anything with wheels i can do it okay so anything with wheels and walls right? yes so if you own it you can get it insured right All right so obviously auto insurance is probably the most ubiquitous type of insurance right. uh you know you own a car by law you're supposed to have it my understanding <laughs> is that although it's required by law there's actually quite a lot of people that don't have insurance and they're driving around anyways that is correct it's debatable to kind of see one in three one in five who you talk to doesn't have insurance especially in the houston and the big city areas um it's crazy to think that some of these people are driving around without car insurance right. so it's very important to know what's on your insurance policy to make sure you're covered for those people who don't have insurance that's that was going to be my next question <laughs> so if somebody right you have somebody and they crashed into you and they come out and they're like you know what i don't have any insurance what's the situation for, for the owner of the car that got hit? So the best thing you can do is have uninsured, underinsured on your auto policy. So how that helps is if that person who hits you either doesn't have enough insurance or they don't carry insurance at all, you at that point don't have to file on your insurance as an at-fault accident. Okay. If you don't have that coverage on there, your insurance company will still take care of you. It just goes on your insurance record as an at-fault accident, which we want to avoid. Everybody has a credit score. You have an insurance score as well, which a lot of people don't know of. The higher liability limits you carry improves your insurance score. And then the less accidents you have on there obviously will improve your insurance score as well. So if you can keep that uninsured, underinsured on there, it helps your insurance score if you're in an accident and you um, are being hit by somebody who doesn't have insurance. So your insurance score basically goes towards what you it determines to a certain extent what you pay every right. month? Right, yeah, so it affects your rates, so your premiums, as, so to speak. So just like your credit score affects all those things, your insurance score 
helps determine kind of what kind of insurance rates you're going to have. The better the score, the better the rates. That makes that makes good sense. <laughs> yeah. That being said, I know there's a lot of accidents here yes. every every day. Um, what makes Goosehead different than, uh, let's say, somebody else versus calling, you know, any kind of other agency out there? So what's really cool about Goosehead is we're the largest broker in the state of Texas, slowly climbing for the nation. We're making moves, so it's going to happen here. But the difference is, being a broker, I'm able to shop the market for you. So I have about 30 to 40 different carriers in the Texas market. Um, other states are different. But how I can do is I run it through our system and shop the best prices for you. So now you don't have to call Progressive or you don't have to call Allstate. I can do both of those. Okay. I can do Nationwide. I can do Travelers. I mean, we have so many of the top carriers and it saves you from being having to go call all the different agencies. You just call me, one-stop shop, and I'm able to help you. Oh, that sounds fantastic. <laughs> so it's a very simple, Makes it simple, easy. simple process. Yes. Um, I'll switch gears a little bit to the walls, right? The, the homeowner's insurance. Um, obviously, we're in Harris County. Houston, you know, is somewhat of a complicated uh, <laughs> underwriting risk for yes. a lot of carriers. Um, how do you deal with, with that situation? And does a broker also, you know, do you have the same approach for your homeowner's insurance or your renters as far as a brokerage? Yeah, so it goes same approach. I run it through exactly the same system. So you look and see, I'll look at all the top carriers in the area. The benefit also is as a broker and as an independent agent, I'm catering to you. I want to make sure you have the coverage that you need. So I can customize to exactly what you need. I personally walk through every single one of my clients, all the coverages that I'm covering them under, optional coverages you may not know about, and really understand what's on your insurance policy. Because let's face it, most of us look at that bottom dollar number and saying, right. hey, that's fine, that'll work. But what happens if you have a 5% deductible and a storm hits, and now you have to pay $10,000 deductible when before you could be paying two, but you wanted that lower premium. So the benefit of working with me and working with Goosehead is I'm going to walk you through your policy, make sure it's customized to what you need. So that way, if something does happen, you know if you're covered or if you don't, you can always call me and I can let you know. Okay. And where do you, so, you know, obviously we're in Houston, but you, where, where do you, where can you write um, insurance? Determines the different level of price range that your flood policy is going to be. But ultimately, all the prices are set by FEMA, so it's controlled. It's not going to be like, oh, here you can get a discount from here. Any flood policy is going to be the same. just depends on what level of flood zone that you're in. Okay. But ultimately, everybody should have a flood policy if you live in Houston. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, many people who flooded during Harvey and some of these other storms, even the Labor, you know, Labor Day storm or whatever storm it was, doesn't matter what flood zone you're in, you never know what's gonna happen, and it's better to pay, especially if you're in non-mandatory, that $500 a year max, 572 I think is what it is right now if you're in the highest tier, over having to replace everything in your right. house because of a flood. So you mentioned FEMA, and I've, and I've had friends, over, so, so I know people that have gotten, for example, payments through FEMA disaster assistance, right. uh, and others who go through FEMA because of the NFIP, you mm -hmm. know, the National Flood Insurance Program, can you clarify a little bit about what that difference is? So the difference is there's private flood carriers as well that you can get um, flood insurance through. There's the FEMA rates and the NFIP. So the difference is through um, if you have a NFIP or a FEMA-backed flood policy, they are guaranteed to pay it out. Sometimes you never know how long it's going to take. It's government payments. I don't control that. But right. with private carriers, there's a mass incident like Harvey and things like that there's no guarantee that they're going to pay out that money. And those prices can fluctuate from year to year. They're private carriers. Okay. So I always suggest if you can get a policy, go through FEMA, go through those, you know, so that you're guaranteed to get your money. I got you. All right. So Houston people, if you don't have a flood policy, you got to call Caitlin. <laughs> yes, I mean, please. And it's not very expensive either. No, and, and truth be told, I, I'm, I mean, paying on insurance, I'm paid off commission. Everybody knows it. I'm a salesperson, but I make no money on flood policies. Okay. They're, it's $500 right. for those non-standards. I don't make any commission. I worry about my clients. I don't want you to have to call me and be like, Caitlin, I wish I would have gotten that flood policy because yep. now I'm having to do this. And then also it's good to remember if you don't have a flood policy, there is a 30-day wait period. So if there's a storm coming, you can't just call me and say, hey, Caitlin, that, you know, right. that storm's I coming. Need I need it now. Tomorrow. <laughs> it's a 30-day wait period. So don't wait. Think about it. Flood season's coming. I cannot stress it enough. It's very important for you to have a policy on there. Yeah, I think the news was on recently. I think there, I don't know how many they're expecting. Um, dozens. It's crazy. Of more than, more than single digits 
hurricanes this season. I think um, there was like 25 named storms last year just in the Atlantic alone. And right. then they're saying at least three to five this year are going to be major hurricanes that could hit yeah, on our side of the So seem to get be worse. prepared. I know. They seem to get worse. They're not, they're not getting – It's uh, scary stuff, and we don't yeah. want that to happen to you in your house. So, um, Tell us about your sales process. So, you know, obviously, you know, everybody needs insurance, you know, to one, to one extent or another. You know, how do you go about uh, dealing with your clients? So what's the process for you? So it's super easy. I have the ability to, within, I can get you, talk, speak to you for the very first time and get you an insurance policy bound and processed within an hour. So if you have that time. Some people like to think about it so that there's pro. So very easy. Once I'm introduced to a client, we do what's called a discovery call. And I ask you some major, um, minor questions about yourself. You get some information, your address, date of birth, all that good stuff. But then find out, hey, do you have a dog? Is it considered a vicious breed? You know, unfortunately, right. insurance companies are picky about things like that. But um, trampolines, pools, just major, minor underwriting questions. And then from there, I'll go through. I put it in my system. I have literally, we'll pull up lists with prices on estimated pricing for your policies through, it's called a rater. So it pulls through all the different carriers that I have, and it shows me the top carriers in your area for your property or your um, vehicle. Okay. From there, I put it through. I can literally do this while you're on the phone, talking through, asking you questions, get you pricing, customize it to what you need and for your family. If you need water coverages, which I suggest, but or if you don't want them, high deductibles, low deductibles, whatever you are comfortable with, in that point, take payment for the auto. Home, if you put it through an escrow, we just send it over. It's super easy. Okay. So. All right. Well, and what about your B&I experience? So we're coming up <laughs> on the end of the uh, – the per the of our segment here and i always like to ask about bni and how that's impacted you and and um sort of your business so i know is this a, is this is a new group right that yes. you guys are so when did it when did it charter do you know how long have you guys been open for like barely literally we are about to do our kickoff next tuesday is going to be our grand opening oh, so, okay. we so are, are we are brand new yes okay. yes so we've still doing training yes we're in training right now but I can tell you, um, we've been trying to build this group for a few months now since I've been with like very end of December is when I joined this group. And even before we were a group, people were already trying to help each other with referrals. I can tell you, I would not have hit my yearly goal in my December 31st at 6 p.m. I was buying it on policy. I was late for my New Year's Eve party um, if I hadn't gotten the referral from another member of my BNI group. So I would have not hit my annual goal if that hadn't been for well, We love to hear that. So, I mean, a... it has been nothing but positive. Um, I would highly recommend it to anybody who's looking for a good networking group. All right. And then the last question is, uh, so how can they reach you? So somebody's out there, they're thinking about, you know, may maybe they're thinking about what they're paying right now or they're not happy where they're at or they don't like the agent. How do they reach out to you? Please email me. Um, you can caitlin.pruitt at goosehead.com. Really easy. Or you can call me 713-324-9022. I answer both of those way more than I care to admit. So um, at any time, if I can't answer or don't get back to you right away, I promise I will call you back or email you next day. I mean, I want to help everybody. If you think you're in a bad situation or even if you just want to get quotes, just give me a call. I'd be happy to help. Well, there you have it. Um, this is our last insurance person. We have another uh, one more guest, special guest, star guest uh, in another, another industry. Uh, but stick with us and we'll be right back. Appreciate it. Thanks, Caitlin. Thank you so much. COVID-19 transformed the way we do business. Now more than ever, fast lead generation and customer retention will determine if a business survives or not. The Now Media Video Business Card is designed to be sent using your smartphone. It's the next generation business card that will open the door for you while keeping social distancing. The Now Media Video Business Card is affordable for anyone from startups to multinational companies and is already being used by hundreds of businesses. Stay open, stay in business. Call us today. As a critical aspect of your operations, you need the right technology partner to provide you and your business the peace of mind of having reliable and efficient IT systems. In addition, with cyber threats, ransomware at all time high, adequate, continuous and proactive data protection for your business is an absolute must. Hi, this is Roland Parker with Impress Computer Solutions. We are experts in tailored IT solutions and professional 24-7 IT support services. We proactively monitor, maintain, manage and protect your IT and data assets. 
Additionally, we have the know-how and horsepower to do the correct procuring of any and all computer systems or software your company may need. Having the correct IT infrastructure and not being able to operate safely and correctly is very expensive and can eventually destroy growth. So take a decisive step and call me today for a complimentary consultation at 281-647-9977 for your unique IT needs. Welcome back. Uh, we're still here live. It's uh, Friday the 9th, and I have got my, my last guest on the show here today. Uh, please welcome Sean Lacagnina. Is, right. that, is that well? Absolutely perfect, brother. Okay, Lacagnina. You, know, <laughs> you, you, you got to put that uh, My grandma would be very proud on. of yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Well, thanks for coming in today. Oh, thanks for uh, having Sean, me. we were just uh, joking about uh, the pandemic and how, you know, the camera... Is, is not helping us. You know, we put on maybe a couple of pounds. I think yeah, you guaranteed have, you'd right? make me look thin, so I'm going to trust that you're going to work some magic there. Um, Anchor Point Business Development, right? That's yes, the name sir. of your company. Absolutely. Um, business coach? Yes. Primarily. So I know that, you know, coaching, there's, there's been, uh, it seems like there's been like a, a large, uh, resur not resurgence, but a large uh, increase in the mm -hmm. amount of coaching. And coaching, not only that, it seems to have branched out into different types of, of, of coaching so you know you hear about life coaches a lot you know you hear about uh, business coaches you hear about um, so people that specifically look for opportunities for new businesses as mm -hmm. well you know as far as uh, helping you set up for example a business plan on a, on a new venture correct um, can you explain a little bit or elaborate exactly what type of a coach you are and the services that you provide sure I think at the end of the day I'll bark, the way I look at it is I help business owners, small business owners primarily, and executives just get more done in less time. Okay. You know, if you think of it that way. And you're right, there has been, I would say, a resurgence of it because I think the stigma has been removed. You know, it used to be, if, especially if you're on the corporate ladder, to ask for help, right. that was a bad thing, right? You weren't strong or however they wanted to position you, male or female. Now I think it's, it's looked in the reverse as someone that wants to be a continual learner and improve and get better and, and all of those things. And, and that's what I strive to do, really, is help them gain a clarity on their situation, whether they're a small business owner or an executive in a large firm, to really understand where they're at and who they are, and then make that as a, as a, a launching board for growth to become more effective and efficient. Out of that, they're going to be, they're going to grow, whether right. professionally as an executive or their business as a small business owner. So it's mainly, mainly business related, right? Yes, so sir. we're talking about, you know, uh, ID, uh, let's say specific goals, you know, where you want to be, where you're at, how All you right. can improve the situation, whether as an owner or as an employee. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Um, and we tie it all to, it's not, not a knock on life coaching, but, but we tie it to tangible results. So I don't want to just visit with you for however long you say, if you were my client for however long and, and you feel real good, I want there to be results that we can say, Look at what we've done. Because if we're not getting those results, I didn't do my job. And you don't need to be engaged with me. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Fantastic. I mean, you get, you know, you gotta you gotta make sure you're delivering the goods at the end of the day. You know, it's all about the growth and helping each other get better, just like B and I. And why is it that a business coach, so you know, so how do we learn? So let's let's talk a little bit, let's go a little philosophical mm -hmm. and you know, I own a small business. Um, you know, some of this, uh, some of these things, I've had to learn on my own through basically hard knocks, right? right. You know, making mistakes. Uh, you know, that's how we've all sort of learned through life. Um, what's your process, and and why is there a benefit to having a different person, a different set of eyes, looking in on you um, to help you with your business? Well, let's deal with a small business owner because that's really where a lot of that would come from. I find them to be kind of in two categories. Well, there's more than two, but two that I primarily work with. The, the first person would be, maybe they're achieving success. They're, they're knocking out of the park, but they know there's another level they could go to if there was just someone that they could bounce things off of. Because often, if you, as a small business owner, you start to feel isolated. It's a little lonely. Even if you have a big team, it doesn't matter if you're knocking out of the park or not. If it's not, you really start to feel lonely, right? Is this just happening to me? Why me? All of those things. And then there's that other person that could still be achieving success, 
but they're spending way too many hours doing it. And they're starting, that's starting to affect their personal life. So now we're missing family events. And at the end of the day, as we all know, that's not a good thing. So we come in and start asking questions. And, and I find the answers don't come from me. They come from the person, right? They've got the answer inside of them. They know instinctively what they should be doing. But that confidence to understand the material and to understand, okay, now I understand why I'm looking at this particular part of my business or this particular team and what that situation is. Or maybe it's with their marketing. There's a lot of different facets. Um, that helps them become, that's that clarity that I'm talking about, that allows them to really become more effective and more efficient in what they're doing. And once they're more effective and efficient, as in any organization, it starts with the leader. If the leader set, is setting the, taste, the pace and the culture for the organization, everyone is going to follow that. So as the leader gains more confidence, they become more effective and efficient, that starts to spread through the entire organization. And in a relatively short period of time, we really start to see the growth and all those levers start to click. And how do you go? How do you go about uh, bringing on a new client? So, what's the process? Let's say, well, first, let's talk about what type of a referral is mm -hmm. ideal for you. I think you've already said it, but let's just double. Let's just double down on that. Absolutely. So, small business owner number one. Small business owner would be would be primary. Absolutely. And then on the other side, that executive. And there's a lot of large organizations that I don't want to say demand, but but would really like people to have a coach inside of their company that's on the outside to help them grow. A lot of, especially the, the faster growing uh, executive type, they like to have that outside influence that's forcing them to have that continual education, that personal growth, and, and they find that helps their organization a lot better. And it's a lot less yeah. expensive than trying to do it inside, right? Yeah. So uh, well, yeah, if you're, either one if you're of those at a people. certain level, you want to keep that job, obviously, especially if it has a nice pay, nice benefits. And, you know, the only way to keep it, especially nowadays with so many so much competition out there you know mm -hmm. we're dealing with a lot more competition you know there's a lot more people looking for for you know jobs mm -hmm. uh, a lot more people that are qualified for great jobs because they found themselves you know you know unemployed right, right now right i mean the, right. the pandemic really has uh changed the whole scenario as far as the, the job market's concerned so yeah it's affected everyone and, and i keep telling even the sales teams that i lead that we really have to look at people now and understand that with everything that's going on you know, the pandemic included. But if it's not the pandemic, it's politics. If it's not politics, it's the economy. It's not the economy. It's your personal economy. Then add all your personal life into it. Everybody, there's enough to go around. Everybody has something we going on. We all have the things. We all deal with our, our and own And if you would just address issues. that and understand that before you come at them with your business problem or solution, we miss that. And I think the pandemic has kind of caused us to reflect on that a little bit, especially all this virtual stuff. You know, I, I was with a, a client the other day and they were commenting that the big aha moment for me was I missed the walk back from lunch to the office and that conversation that happens. You know, we miss that online. You know, if oh, yeah. it's a Zoom meeting or whatever, we, we don't do that. Usually we're online. Hey, well, I'm glad you're and we go for it. And we do miss that. The water cooler moments is oh is no a way doubt. To look I mean, I don't know if your chapter. I mean, you're part of uh, BNI Galleria. I am. Absolutely. I want to say that BNI Galleria has been around for a long time. Yep. I don't, how long have you been? A, a I'm fairly new. I'm in my first month still. Okay. And well, I never thought I would join an organization like BNI. To be right. perfectly frank. Well, and what is what are your thoughts as a business coach, somebody that basically evaluates, mm -hmm. uh, you know, all sorts of organizations? Mm -hmm. uh, what have been your your initial impressions? I've of, been of very BNI? impressed. 